ladies and gentlemen, country, music, icon, legend, superstar, Kenny Chesney. Yeah, wow, Kenny! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Can't you, Kenny? Yes. Can't you, Kenny? Hell yeah. Hey, That's Kenny. You. What's up, Kenny? Good to see you again. See you guys. What's up? Hey, yeah. it is good to see you again. And we just said that because uh, we've been to a couple of your concerts. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah we've got a chance to see you work. Uh, you <laughs> coming out here to chat with us, we are incredibly honored. Kenny Chesney. Happy Super Bowl. Hey, happy yeah. Super Bowl. Happy Super Bowl. Obviously, you love football. Oh, love it. Yeah, boys of fall, we all uh, have heard your, you know, your kind of passion and love for Thank the sport you. of football. Yeah. You come from South, yeah. love Tennessee football. Yeah. NFL, any big teams? Any? Uh, well, you know, we, I didn't grow up, you, being from Knoxville, you know, you Tennessee football is what, it, what you grew up on. So we didn't have a pro allegiance really to, to anything, any sport. You know, so like if, if me and my dad wanted to go see a baseball game, we had to drive to Cincinnati or to Atlanta. Got it. To see the Braves, right? But so, but when Sean Payton uh, got the, I met Sean Payton when he was quarterback coach, with the with with the Giants, and then he went to work for Parcells in Dallas. This is this just me? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. You know it better than me. And then we became good <laughs> friends through that. Was this right there? And then when he got the when he got the gig in New Orleans, I bought a suite, you know, oh, every awesome. year, which Ooh. absolutely killed me. I mean, we had so much fun. Oh, okay. So especially if it's a night game. You know, you go into New Orleans, and if it's, you know, Thursday night football or Sunday night football or Monday night football, it's hard on a hard survive. On the soul. Yeah, well, so let's yeah. talk about this. You always, uh, it feels like everywhere you go, a party is uh, yeah. happening. <laughs> like the city of Pittsburgh, there's people yeah. who are like, we can't <laughs> let this guy back in here because it ruins the entire, the entire city comes and has a blast. <laughs> That's not true. At, at, oh. All, there was people saying, now those people are wrong. Yeah, and they are wrong. When, Whenever you go there, it's only good times. But, like, how long has that been your thing? Because it feels like everywhere you go, good vibes. Everywhere you go, party. Everywhere you go, everybody comes to your shows. That's just, like, Standard Kenny Chesney operating procedure, it feels well, like. Well, it, it's, you know, like anything, like, it, we didn't wake up and it'd be that way, right? We, we, we built it over years. and and But I, I do feel like that our show is, the, is, is one of the places in the world that's a safe place, no matter how old you are, if you're a kid or if you're a, an adult, if you're 8 to 80, whatever it is, you're not going to be told how to think. You're not going to be told who to vote for. You're just there to, to, to get loved on. We're going to love on you all night, you know, and we're going to play music. It's going to be really loud, and it's going to be fun. And that's what that's, that's what it's turned into over the years. I mean, the music has to back it up, but still, it's just turned into, uh, it's, it's crazy. You know, uh, at our shows when we go play, um, the amount of sports people that comes to our show, mm -hmm. it's just, and I know you guys have, have, have met a lot of musicians that, in being athletes. There's a, there's a, a, a certain amount of respect for one another because I really wish I could do what you did. No, not me, them. But them. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I really, but I, I do. And then almost every athlete I've ever met really wishes they could stand up yeah. on stage and, and, mm -hmm. and sing, you know. And, and so um, that's, that's at every show that we, every tour, there's more sports people at our show than there are music people. Well, that's because your songs, too, have good messaging. You know, it's not just like, Oh, I'm a dipshit and I'm <laughs> drinking some beer. You know, it's nothing like that. You got like great messaging in your songs. Oh, you, when did you start picking and choosing songs that had like good messages, good me? Because well, hey, I've I've been through some chapters with old Kenny Chesney getting me through it. Yeah, Legit. you mentioned that last night. Yeah. Know? So I I don't know. I've, I've always picked my songs, you know. But uh, I, I it, it's it evolved over the years. You know what I mean? Like, you, you get more comfortable as an artist, and you get more comfortable on stage. Then you see all these dreams that, you know, I've got four or five guys that I went to elementary school with that run my business out there. And we're still friends. So we got to see it happen, you know, together. I'm, like, one of your boys back there. Yeah, so high school. Guys we, got, we got numerous. That kid, same street yeah. as me. So when you, when you get to meet people together and you, yeah. you go down this journey together, it just means more. You know, so um, they just kind of evolve that way. No, it's great stuff. AJ's got a question for you. How have your tour, obviously you're touring stadiums, everything's a huge party. For you personally, has it changed over the years how you tour? Like, did you used to go harder or whatever? Because I know every single show well, you yeah. have, I was talking to you, like, I've had, I have multiple friends that will come see you play in person. I get to know you and hang out, and it's the biggest party of their life, but you got a job to do. How every do time. Right. Yeah, no, like, we don't party. How do you do that? Yeah, how do you manage all of that? Well, I... I say we don't now. We used to. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so used to, I wanted to be a part of the party, too. But it's that I realized you get to a certain place in your life and you have to make a decision. Right? Okay. So 
But it's interesting because people come and they see it as this wonderful escape, and they want us to do what they're doing, but we're working. I mean, we're, we're not, we're, it's, 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 a lot of, it's a lot of work to do what we do. And so, um, it, but it, it makes me very happy that people want to come and be a part of the experience. Well, and your show has a professionalism and, uh, you know, a performance it has to uphold too. And I'm, we're also massive Zach Brown yeah. fan fans. Yeah. He's the same way. We've heard him talking in interviews about how, like, yeah, me and the boys, like, we don't party whenever we, we a consistency to the show in yeah. being the party means a lot. Now you guys are touring together. Yeah, he's a perfectionist too. You yes. Know? So and we're yeah he's going to go out. We 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 went out together on the road in 2011. So it's wow, it's been a minute. I yeah, he's even, there at a different place. You're at a different place. They did, but see, here's the thing. They didn't have to do it the first time. <laughs> yeah. They were already ascending. They were already there. And the fact that they did, and look, the fact that we're going to spend the summer together this year is. Unbelievable. So there's been a lot of young country musicians that you have given a stage to and given a rub to is yeah. what the wrestling business is like. Yeah. Taylor, right? Uh, yeah. Taylor's, hey, she's the biggest star on earth. Oh, she's, yeah. and, I, and I've known Taylor a long time, and she has done, an, obviously, an unbelievable job. I mean, but she, she's one of the best, you know, Taylor's one of the best songwriters on the planet. She really is. Not just an entertainer, but she really has a creative soul. That comes from somewhere, and she's great at it. How do you feel about her dating a football guy? We're pumped about yeah. it. I, I, you know what? I think I, I, I don't understand the the negative towards it. Well, because I, I I want some. Look, it's hard enough to meet someone, right? Yes. And so when you find somebody that meets someone, they're happy. Let them be happy. Yeah, I agree. But they're both on top of the world, so yeah, okay. everybody's going to want to hate that. Tone's got a question for you. I, I think one of the things that we appreciate as fans, it feels like when we're listening it, it feels like you have in mind where we're gonna be while we're listening like summertime like we're gonna be around a pool a body of water mm -hmm. it's gonna be a party mm -hmm. like does that go into the creative pr process do you think about where the fans are gonna be listening to where you're like your songs at what time of year stuff like that well i do but i i think about just my own existence and what how I grew up, and I think about you know you, you find a song that you, you know whether it's Boys of Fall or whether it's uh, No Shoes No Shirt No Problems yeah. or Summertime or you know, whatever it is, you 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 do have to put yourself okay. Was is this my life? Can I yeah. will, will will people believe me? You know that's what it is. Like it, it, I've always said that that. Especially the audience that we've built. I mean, they're so, they they can smell a rat pretty quick if it's disingenuous. They'll they they'll know. Yeah. And that's that's I, I I think about that constantly. Any songs you hate performing now because you're not in the same headspace? <laughs> we hear about that, right? Don't yeah, we? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. not, I wouldn't say hate performing, but there's like if you come like if you come to a show this summer at a stadium, you're not going to hear a lot of slow songs. Good, great, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. because I mean, Kenny, uh, listen, we just wanted a sphere. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna put you into. Yeah, <laughs> they played no songs that anybody knew for two hours. Two yeah, hours. I mean, so if you do that, let's just say I play a lot of songs somebody knows, everybody knows, yeah. right? But if I've got a couple in there that nobody knows, that's when you guys are going to start checking your phone. Oh, yeah. Bathroom. Falling asleep. I mean, that's it. All that, yeah. So when I go see Bruce Springsteen, I want to hear Born to Run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boom. Thank you, Kenny. So that's, that's the way it is, you know? So so I that that's, I wouldn't say I hate doing those songs that you're not going to hear, but I you have to be really aware of, okay, 90% of these people have been out in the parking lot in 90 degree weather since 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And by the time I go on at nine o'clock, you have to be able to read them, you know, and not do certain things. You just, They're if, ready to go. if you got them and you got the hammer down, you keep it down. Hammer. Down. <laughs> Connor's got a question for you, Kenny. When you see stuff like the sphere, though, does it pique your interest? Like, is there yeah, any no. thought like, hey, I want to perform yes. in a spot like that? And have you thought about what you would do if you were to get in there? And have you seen it? Have you been in there? It was right outside of my room last night. <laughs> like, I, could, I was I laying in bed watching TV, and I could see it. Right, It was right there. And, of course, like, so much of our show, not so much of it, but there's a huge part of our show that is that is very video visual. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm I'm laying there thinking, oh wow, we, we could we could do this, we could do that. We, yeah, maybe it's one a, day. It's it's, like, wow. Yeah. You if you went to a show, you would do that yeah. probably times. A the, the creative part of your you know of because every year we go on stage and every year we go on tour, it's like building a house every year. Like you're different, but it's a different house, and you you got we got blueprints, we got everything. Okay, how are we going to make this work? And we're in that space right now. So it's 
Yeah, I was I was looking at that. So you're gonna do a show at the Sphere? We can. Oh, we no, can no, no, let's no. break the news. We're not announcing. Kenny right. Chesney <laughs> will be doing <laughs> a show at the Sphere at some point. Yeah, yeah. News. One day, maybe. Who knows? Let's go. Okay, okay one day, maybe. Who knows? I hope. Put it on the ticker. Put it on oh. the ticker. Uh, I got a text message here with some information. Uh oh. Born. Yeah. Oh yeah. Twentieth album will be released March 29th. A special digital-only tour version will contain three songs recorded at Nashville's. Now somebody Minnesota. just texted you that. Yes. Wow. Right here. All right. It's happening live <laughs> in real time. Yeah, it's happening live <laughs> in real time. Uh, 20th album. Congratulations. That's crazy to think People don't make it to 20 ever. No. Wow. People don't make it to 10. That's a lot. Yeah. Born, what's this one about? Born, uh, we got a freshness. Born, it's, it's, it's a lot. Like It was very intentionally done to release new music before the tour. And it's been a minute since we've had new music. And so we're, we are in that space. It's coming. The, the, the are you making songs right now for this? No, it's done. We're, we're, we're done. You like it? Yeah, it's it's just it's just got a lot of it's got more energy than I've had in, in an album in a while, and it's it was very intentionally done for the live aspect. Holy makes, shit! Look how handsome you look. look. At you. look what? Oh wow! Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Hey, you, hey, that cowboy hat. Another guy. <laughs> hey, that cowboy hat that you that one's that, good design. That one's been around. That's got that that's full of sweat, salt water, years on the road. I, where, where do you live in a beach? You live beach, obviously. You seem like a beach guy. Well, it's been a huge part of my life. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I love it. I mean, I, I've, I've had a home in the Virgin Islands for a long time, and, and Whoa. love boats, love love the water, and just it's, it's, it's found its way into the studio. And I've never been to Virgin Islands. Uh, that's going to change, bro. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty mobile. This show mobile. We can go anywhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially if there's a guitar. You know, yeah, I've, yeah. Uh, you know, I've been. I've been very lucky to be friends with a friend of yours as well, Peyton. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, his connection with the country music world is pretty... It's pretty intense. It's it pretty, is pretty awesome. Yeah. Peyton used to, when when it, his rookie year with the Colts, I, well, I met Peyton when he was a junior at Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So we were already pretty good friends when he got drafted by the Colts. And so, How's the age? How's the age between you two? You're older than he is? I'm a, what, yeah, I'm so, probably 12. Years older than him. Damn, I mean, like Kenny, that. you look young. You look great. Yeah, you, yeah, you look very young. Yeah, so good for you, Kenny. Thank yeah, you. Um, wow, so Kenny. Wow. Peyton's rookie year, he goes, "I want to come out on the road." And I went, "Come on out." So he would, you know, him and the boys would go play golf. I, and I don't play yeah. a lot of golf. So, and Peyton would get bored, and he would he would put a guitar over his shoulder. He'd wear some sort of weird. It wasn't a cowboy hat, but it was some sort of weird hat. And this just this goes to show you how much our social climate has changed. Oh yeah. Because there was no phones, there was no nobody knew it. Okay, so but you could see the audience just kind of, God damn, that looks like Peyton Manning, right? <laughs> and so, and he had a guitar, you know, and nobody would know it until I introduced the band. So, oh, there we go. So, see, that's not a cowboy hat. What is that? I don't know. It's more I, like a, a rancher. So, yeah, he had the ranching? same hat on like when he would go out on the road with us. And Indiana so, Jones. yeah, <laughs> and and then I would introduce uh, him as part of the band. So, from you know. For New Orleans, Louisiana, Peyton Manning, people would go crazy, right? But the thing about it is, I, I had to teach him. He wouldn't like he had a guitar, or any, and you know, as the band, you got to change chords. You know, when the chords <laughs> change, Peyton stayed in the same spot. Yeah. Same time, so. <laughs> He kind of gave himself away. That's real talent there. He yep. he can sing too, can he? Well, he's a real good singer. Oh yeah. Well, me and Peyton actually did a a duet together. Ooh. Where at? at his first year in the NFL, the NFL did some sort of uh, a, a duets record. And so where NFL This stars, is recorded? This is real. <laughs> I thought this was like one of those drunk ones that we see no, in a no, video no. where. This is not a joke. This is real. And they did it. And, and Peyton chose me to do the duet with yes. on one of my old songs. It's called, it's a song called Whatever It Takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? Yep. And Peyton would be in the studio and, and he'd be singing it. And he goes, how'd I do? And my producer, Buddy Cannon, he'd hit this button. He goes, Peyton, that's real close. <laughs> real close. How'd you get into music? College. I mean, it was music was always in my life with my with my family. You know, but when I, I was I was the guy in college. You go in college to a bar and be sitting literally in a, in a corner, Strong. playing his hero songs, and I, I did it basically for tips. And do you do covers still? Every now and then, if 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 if, the, if it hits us. What do you, you mean? Know? Well, like you know, tonight well, we need to play a little. Yeah, it, it depends on the crowd. It, it, if 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 the crowd is polite, then we won't do it. We won't mix it up much. But if the crowd's really horny for everything, we <laughs> just do whatever. Nice. Horny, you know, horned up. Horny. They get horned. Yeah, horned up. They get I mean, horned they get up. A horny crowd and a reserve crowd. So what happens, Kenny? They get all horned up. Yeah, 
I mean, and you know it before you go on. You feel, can it. feel the energy in the room. And you're like, wait a second, we need to. Well, let's just uh, say, well, say like that right there is a fence, okay, where that carpet is. Ah, there it and is. let's just say that's a fence. Some yeah. nights you, you, some nights they come across the fence towards you, the energy. Some nights you got to reach over and bring them over. Okay. And some nights they just stay over there. Oh. It's, it's, it's interesting. Those ones where they stay over there, you think bad the show. The ones where they stay over there, you don't, you don't, you do what's on the set list and. Yeah. Now the ones that come across, you'll do anything for. Oh, oh yes, yes, Not, that, like a good crowd. Good that depends on, on the environment. It depends on depends on the weather. It depends on uh, it, what's going on in the city. It's crazy. There's a lot of factors. Yeah, and you take over every city you go to. Yeah. And then we yep. just, yeah, so we we just turn it up and go. You're about to be at 200 stadiums. Hold on, so I was reading some that stats is. here. We're yeah. getting this information. Right here. <laughs> Got texted to me right here. These, these are all information. <laughs> this source says, tell me, the 2024 tour uh, on his son goes down 2024 tour. When his son Does goes down, down we'll, we'll be grooving when the sun goes, goes down. down. That's a banger. Feeling all right. When the sun sits yep. down. Over the water. Everything. Everything. <laughs> hotter. When the sun goes down, which is actually Uncle wrong. Ken, Uncle Kenny's hotter when the sun goes down. Yeah, they're talking uh, about you. Right. They're talking about you getting more attractive. We've, the been here, We've been there. 23 stadium concerts this tour. Yeah. Has done 179 already. Okay. So this will take him up over 200. Let's go. It has to be a record. Is that a record? I don't know. Gotta be. I, I really don't know. It's it's record for us. <laughs> I, I, I Everyone know. we add on, we're breaking Everyone. a whole new record. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy to think about. Like we did, we did our first stadium run in 2005. It's crazy. 19 years of stadiums. Jeez. Yeah, it's it, that doesn't even seem real. To Long me. time. But it's that was the first the first ones we did <sighs> so was Pittsburgh. Money. Yeah, we, I think uh, it was there. Foxborough and and I think Philly. Those are the first three we did. Those are horny crowds. And then the next year it was kind of yeah. that yellow were really horny. Now you finish in Foxborough. So. And then, uh, yeah, now we, every year we finish in Foxborough. What's the prep? What's the prep? Like, uh, ment it goes mentally to going, every year going into too. it, what's the prep mentally, physically? Do you change up a diet? Do you work out? Yes. Or do you do something different? So, voice? I'm in that zone now. Like, I, it, that's why I didn't go out last night. Mm -hmm. Right? I didn't, I, I didn't indulge in Vegas because I haven't had anything to drink in a long time. I, I, I literally, I, knowing what I got to do, like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward on stage, up there in front of these people. Okay, I know what it takes of me. To do that, yeah, just like just like an athlete knows. Okay, oh, I, okay, camp, okay. I know right training camp's coming, and I I can't go to training. Camp. And you're dancing too. You're not just well, you know, you you're pulling on a show out there. Yeah, you can't go to training camp to get in shape. You got to show up in shape. Amen. So that's where I'm at. And so I changed my diet. I changed everything. And we start rehearsals in two weeks. So it's, it's, it's a, you it's, dance it's in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No. So that's all just natural. What are you doing up there? Do you dance? Do you practice in front of a mirror? Well, I don't have to dance. Oh, that's right. But you might. You Maybe. know, and I should be ready, yeah, shouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, should. I, I should be ready. I should have a move that I, I should definitely want to go to. You are very active up there, though. Like, you're, in a, you're a showman. Yeah, I, that's just the way it's always been. I, I, when I hear music, and especially with the band that I have, I just, always, I, my, I just move. I do. And I know that. You're quite a vibe, Kenny. Quite a vibe. Uh, best. I don't know, but thank you. That's a good thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we good appreciate time. you. Ladies appreciate and gentlemen, you, has a big tour coming up this summer. Dude. Obviously, Born, new album coming out. Absolute legend. <laughs> what else you got there? A new tech? That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. uh, the only country artist on oh. Billboard's top 10 touring artists of the last 25 years. Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Think about that. Is That's that you, dude. It? Come see us this summer. Yes. <laughs> Always, I mean, we will. Eight-time eight time entertainer of the year. Over 30 million albums sold. Jeez. More number one country songs yeah. than any other artist, and over a million tickets sold at each of his full on tours since 2002. Wow. The People Superstar, says LA Times. Oh, stop. <laughs> I like the King of the Road, says Wall Street Journal. Right. Ladies, and gen <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kenny Chesney. Yeah, Thanks for having me, everybody. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, when the sun thank goes down, Kenny Chesney crushes you, it. Kenny. We can't thank you enough, brother. Thank Thanks you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, See man. you.